Brain Bobble presents Unraveling the Mysteries Eight Ways Culture Influences Our Behaviors Today, we're going on an adventure to explore the fascinating world of culture and behavior. Have you ever wondered why people from different parts of the world act in such unique ways? Or why certain customs are considered taboo in some cultures but completely normal in others? Well, get ready to have your mind blown as we unravel the mysteries of how culture influences our behaviors. 1. Language is a secret code. Did you know that the words we use to talk and communicate with others can affect how we understand each other? Language is like a secret code that we use to share our thoughts and feelings with other people. But did you also know that the way we talk is influenced by our culture too? For example, in some cultures, it's polite to speak softly and not interrupt when someone else is talking. In other cultures, people might talk louder and interrupt each other more often because it shows they're interested in what the other person is saying. So when you're talking to someone from a different culture, it's important to try and understand their language and the way they use it. That way, you can communicate better and learn about their views and ideas too. 2. Emotions vary drastically. It's interesting to learn that depending on where people come from, the way they feel and express their emotions can vary. Some cultures might think it's okay to show feelings openly, like laughing or crying in public. But other cultures might think it's impolite to do that and prefer to keep their emotions more private. It's like a secret code of how people feel inside, some people share their feelings with everyone, while others only share them with their closest friends and family. So when you meet someone from a different culture, remember that the way they express their emotions might be different from what you're used to. That doesn't mean one way is right or wrong, it just means we all have our own unique ways of showing how we feel. 3. Belief Systems It's fascinating to think about how belief systems can impact your behavior and shape your cultural identity. Whether it's through religion or other forms of belief, what you believe in can have a significant influence on what you consider to be right or wrong, the principles and values you hold dear, and the ideals you strive for. This is known as the value orientation theory of human behavior, which recognizes that different societies around the world have their own unique sets of values that are influenced by their belief systems. Political ideologies, philosophical beliefs, cultural traditions, and even superstitions can all be examples of belief systems that shape your worldview. Cultural beliefs such as the importance of family relationships or education can also play a big role in shaping behavior. Ultimately, these various belief systems all contribute to who you are as an individual and how you act within your respective cultures. 4. Social Roles Social norms and expectations differ significantly from culture to culture, contributing to how you communicate with others and handle your day-to-day -day activities. The way you dress, eat, talk, behave in public, and express emotions may vary depending on where you are in the world. For instance, in some cultures, it is customary to display physical affection openly, while in others, it is deemed inappropriate or even taboo. Similarly, certain cultures prioritize punctuality over anything else while others value socializing more than timekeeping. These cultural differences can be seen in how you greet people as well, shaking hands might be the norm in one place while bowing down is preferred elsewhere. Understanding these nuances of different cultures can help you avoid misunderstandings and awkward situations when interacting with people from diverse backgrounds. It also helps foster mutual respect and appreciation for different ways of living and being around the world. 5. Differences in Gestures Have you ever wondered how gestures can differ across cultures, with certain actions being viewed as courteous in one culture while possibly impolite or insulting in another? Contemplating how certain gestures that are deemed polite in one culture can be perceived as impolite or offensive in another is quite intriguing. For example, in some parts of the world, it's common to bow your head as a sign of respect, while in others, shaking hands is the norm. The use of hand gestures can also vary greatly depending on cultural context. A thumbs up may be seen as a positive affirmation in many Western countries, but in some Middle Eastern and African cultures, it can be interpreted as an offensive gesture. Even something as simple as pointing can have different meanings, while it's common to use your index finger to indicate something in Western cultures, in some Asian countries, pointing can be seen as impolite and people may instead use their entire hand or chin to indicate something. These differences highlight just how important it is to be aware of cultural norms when interacting with people from different backgrounds. 
By taking the time to learn about and respect these differences, you'll not only avoid causing offense but also show that you value and appreciate the unique perspectives of those around you. 6. Individual versus Groups Did you know that where you come from can affect how you act and behave? Some cultures focus more on the individual, while others prioritize the group. So, if you're from a culture that values the group, you might be more likely to think about what's best for everyone instead of just yourself. On the other hand, if your culture is all about the individual, you might be more likely to do what's best for you even if it goes against what your friends or family want. Let's say you're at a family gathering. If you come from an individualistic culture, you might speak up and tell your parents why you don't want to go to college even though they really want you to. But if you come from a communal culture, you might keep quiet because it's important to respect your family's wishes. And did you know that people from different cultures might also interpret things differently? For example, someone from one culture might think nodding their head means yes, but in another culture it could mean no. It can get pretty confusing. So always remember where you come from can influence how you act and communicate with others. 7. Clothing styles. The way people dress is often a reflection of their cultural identity and can provide clues about their background, as traditional clothing styles are deeply rooted in the history and customs of different societies. These styles often carry significant symbolic meaning, such as certain colors or patterns being associated with specific spiritual or religious beliefs or having practical purposes like protection from harsh weather conditions. Traditional clothing also serves as a way to express individuality within a larger community and can be seen as a source of pride and affirmation of cultural heritage. However, it's important that you approach each individual with an open mind and avoid making assumptions based on appearances alone, as people may adopt different styles for various reasons. Understanding the significance of traditional clothing styles helps promote cross-cultural understanding and respect for diversity by providing insight into the values that shape our society and building connections with people from different backgrounds. 8. Values and Expectations Different cultures often have varying values and expectations, which can significantly impact how people approach their daily lives. For example, while some cultures prioritize success and achievement, others place great importance on rest and relaxation to maintain physical and mental well-being. Additionally, in some cultures, it is expected to show deference to authority figures and maintain a high level of formality in professional settings. In contrast, other cultures may prioritize a more casual and relaxed approach to communication. Some cultures may also place greater emphasis on collective decision-making and group harmony, while others value individual autonomy and assertiveness. These differences in values can sometimes lead to misunderstandings or conflicts when working with individuals from different cultural backgrounds. Therefore, it's important to recognize these differences and seek mutual understanding to create inclusive environments where everyone feels valued and supported. Understanding these cultural differences can help individuals navigate diverse work environments with greater sensitivity and respect. Understanding the nuances between cultures can equip you to navigate not only your own cultural expectations but also those of others when interacting with different people or societies. Gaining this knowledge can help you bridge any gaps in communication, foster stronger relationships, and create a more unified world through mutual understanding and respect for each other's perspectives. By recognizing these cultural differences, you can learn how to communicate effectively with individuals from diverse backgrounds and build stronger connections based on shared values and goals. And for more insightful tips and mind-expanding food for thought, subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching.